So how about this for a piece of solid German engineering? This is the Heimannover GL585. It's a heavy caravan, it's 1900 kilograms maximum unnamed weight, so you're going to need a fairly hefty car to pull this beast. It's also a 2018 model, and Heim has been rationalizing a bit the ranges it makes available in the UK, but it's staying with the GL range, and when you see some of the detail on this caravan, you'll understand why. You'll be pleased to see that for such a caravan, it comes with an ATC trailer control system already fitted. But have a look too at the corner studies. They're not just heavy duty corner studies, they have Alco Bigfoot corner studies. There are other nice details on the outside too. You get a barbecue point. And round the back, there's a single grab handle going across the full width of the caravan. So when you arrive on site and you can't pull this caravan onto its pitch on your own, everyone can come and help you. With its chunky wooden feel and the grey tones, this caravan might seem a world away from your standard British tourer, but actually there are some similarities. There's this wonderful front lounge with wraparound seating, and look how much light comes in through the three large windows, the sunroof, and a massive roof light. It's nicely heated too, with vents that come from the Truma heating. And this table may be chunky, but it's freestanding, just like in most UK tourers, and it's big enough to hold at least five or six people around for dinner, and the chef can still take part in the conversation because of the way it's positioned. And behind you, there's a socket on each side for anything electrical, a nice couple of shelves you can put them on, a drinks holder, and two speakers that connect to the hi-fi in this caravan, so you certainly won't be deprived for any quality of sound coming in here. Another nice touch is the shelves you get here, as well as the lockers. Useful place to put fobs and things on your way out to the toilet block or somewhere like that. It's when you're standing in near the kitchen like this that you really appreciate how spacious and wide this caravan is. It really makes a difference from some of the more cramped UK vans. However, when you turn to the kitchen itself, there are some things that perhaps you might find a little bit odd as a UK caravaner. It's great that you have a separate oven and grill with a four burner dual fuel hub. It's all well lit with two LEDs underneath the lockers. But I'm wondering why the extension flap here is the other side of the splashback. And I'm a bit surprised that in a van costing almost £35,000, you still only get a three-way fridge. But there's plenty of storage here in both the drawers down below and these spacious lockers. And in this locker on the left, you get a microwave. Down here, there are two main sockets, and I like the detailing they've put on this back panelling. It makes this kitchen look much more domestic. Opposite the kitchen is a storage unit that I think is rather special. You get this nice coat rack by the door with a hanging rail, with a boot locker on the other side. There's good storage here. There's a wardrobe here, which is probably adequate for four people. But best of all, the heater goes under here, which means in this drawer here, you can keep everything nice and toasty. Closed storage continues down these three lockers on the side, and that's before we've even begun to mention the overhead lockers on the other side and the huge space under the bed. One thing I would say about this storage is that unlike any UK caravan of this price, there's no external access here so you'd have to carry everything into the van. So what about the bed itself? Well, it's a good size, and with this particular corner bed, whoever sleeps on the far side will probably have enough room to wriggle out during the night without having to disturb their sleeping partner. There are two speakers here as well, although the rather odd thing is that they're positioned at the front and the back of the bed. It's almost as if Heimer expects you to sleep sideways to listen to the music. The washroom at the end is nicely lit from an opaque window at the side. There's a large wash basin with space around it to put things, and there's huge amounts of storage to leave lotions and potions in two large cupboards, one of which is next to a large mirror. There's a posh place to leave toilet rolls where they can't be seen, a socket for a hairdryer, and five different hooks for your dressing gown before you even get to the large shower cubicle at the end with its own clothes rail and a roof light. So if you have a beefy tow car and a fair amount of cash to splash around, you might think the Heimer GL range is one for you, especially if you're the kind of person who likes to luxuriate in the huge amount of space you get inside this caravan. But if you do go looking, and in particular if you look for a brand new 2019 model, bear in mind that this is one area where, unlike other areas, Britain is falling into line with Europe, because from 2019, all Heimer caravans will be rebranded in the UK as Ariba, as they are everywhere else in Europe. So much for Brexit.